unbelievably cute are these little animals so we've got a cow <laughs> kind of and a little bobbly sheep so adorable and then on top we've got the chickens all around their little barn and a little piggy this is so cute this cake <laughs> when i got sent the uh, the inspiration pic i got a little giddy because i just absolutely love the cute and quaint little animals and all the little details so this is um a fondant covered cake cake and all the details are more or less uh fondant or modeling paste um the barn on top it's actually a um it's a cutter you can buy um by fmm it's called more than a birdhouse cutter um because you can make two ever so slightly different shapes out of it you can make um what looks more like a birdhouse with the sort of slanted sides um, or you can make this one with the, the more straight sides and it's so adaptable. Um, so I've um, used a little circle cutter to cut um, this little circle out the top to make it look like more like a barn. Um, but I've seen it used as a, a beach hut, um, a birdhouse obviously. Um, you know, you could make a house out of it. And it's just it just comes with... Um, three or four cutters um, that just cut these pl uh, planks I don't mean planks um, these little shapes out anyway um, and you just let them dry make them out of modeling paste let them harden um, and then you can just see the royal icing underneath I had some black royal icing that's why that's black um, and you just stick them together, let them set. And it creates this entirely edible, freestanding, ever so gorgeous little uh, barn as I've made it. So um, on the top, um, we've got these like little brick stone walls around the top. And then I've covered the, the whole entire cake in a, a gorgeous pink color. And then on top, I thought, um, I'm going to be a little bit different with this one. So I cut um, a circle out of uh, a fondant in green. Let it firm up just ever so slightly so that when I put it over the top, it didn't flop completely. It's held its shape. And then I've cut these little bits out um, using some scissors um, to give it like a grass effect. Uh, and then on the sides, I've used a fence cutter a little white picket fence then a little sun in fondant some clouds again using a cutter and these absolutely gorgeous animals on the bottom i'm so in love with these especially the sheep um the little lamb his little face and his little bobbly coat is just adorable and it's all done in fondant so i i um just made a little body out of a uh, fondant and then just rolled all these tiny little balls stuck them on and it's given the effect of his like nice woolly fluffy coat and then this 2d um is it 2d it's slightly it's 2d slash 3d little cow because his body is sort of flat up to more or less flat up to the cake um and his head i don't know if you can just see at the back it's actually held on with a little cocktail stick so the cocktail stick goes straight into the back of the cake into the front of the cake, sorry, and then I've, I've done this sort of slightly 2D head and pushed that on. Um, so that was then stuck onto the cake and then I've done the um, the legs separate and just stuck them on after. Makes it a little bit easier if you're doing sort of, you know, your, your freestanding models so that you don't have to let them dry before you then put the legs on and you've, you're not sure if uh, the weight of the the body is too much for the legs so the the weight of this cow the bulk of it is stuck to the cake it's stuck itself um, and then the legs stuck on after which is a great alternative to making a a model you can do that obviously if you're 
sort of having them around the bottom of the cake. If it's on the top of the cake, you usually have to have them sitting or or go the standing route. So yeah, this is um I just love the sort of pastel pinks, yellows and uh, and then the colourful top as well. The little chickens. As I say, lots and lots of fondant detail on this one, so this took a long time to do. Um I, do, I have actually done matching cupcakes as well. If you just bear with me, I'll zip you across my kitchen. Um, I don't want you to see too much because <laughs> I'm in the middle of baking, so it's a bit mucky. So I'll uh, I'll take you this way. So um, here are the matching cupcakes. How adorable are those? So these are 2D cupcake toppers, and um, we've got little piggies we've got little chick chicks um sheep which look a little bit like a fried egg <laughs> um but you've got sort of the fluffy sheep's body and then the face um my nails are absolutely covered in blue food coloring apologies it's not muck i can assure you of that um so the little cows which actually give enough little pig piggy vibes with the nose but their cows nonetheless. They've all got these little bows in because it's for a little girl who turns three. So the matching cupcakes uh, to go with the cake. What a fab little combo. So the cupcakes on this one are chocolate and I've um, done chocolate ganache topping. Whipped chocolate ganache so it's a little bit more uh, softer to bite. I've stuck some little eyelashes on the on some of them. Absolutely adore these. So yeah, the uh, cake and matching cupcakes. What a combo. Absolutely in love. <laughs>